This is section 11.3 and we are going to be using our uh, information that we've been um, dealing with limits and continue um, our studies with that but now applying it to the tangent line and the slope and derivative. Alright so just to review what a tangent line is a tangent line, if I have a circle, a tangent line is a line that intersects the circle just at exactly that one point. That's a tangent line. All right, the tangent line to a graph of a function f at a point x, y is the line that best approximates the slope of the graph at that point. This is how we use it in calculus um, in, in with limits that our tangent line um, really just represents the slope of the curve at that point. To determine the rate at which a graph rises or falls, draw a tangent line, then approximate the change in y to the change in x, because remember what slope is. Slope is change in y on top over change in x. All right, so here's what we've got. The slope and the limit process just all together. First of all, um, we want to consider the secant line. Not a tangent line, we want a, a secant line. So a secant line is a line through which um, goes through the graph um, through the point of tangency and then through a second point on the graph. So you can see here, I've got two points. Point of tangency and then a second point, okay? My point of tangency is x and then f of x, or x, y. And my point, um, my second point is x plus h, comma, f of x plus h. So it's just, uh, it's been shifted, okay? Um, plus h and plus h allows us to just change the location. We don't know what h is. All right, well, if we want to find the slope of this line here, the slope of the line would be um, found by taking y minus y over x minus x. Well, in this case here, my y minus my y is f of x plus h minus f of x. And then my change in my x's is x plus h minus minus x. Change this parenthesis. I had inserted it into the wrong place. We got parentheses here and there, but not here. There we go. All right. So with that being said, here, if I if this just represents the slope um, between the two points then I can simplify the bottom here, cross out the x's, and so it's really just equal to f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, what does this look like? It, it's obviously, hopefully, looking familiar to you. To you. Um, it's just, just the difference quotient. So we're going to be using the difference quotient here to find the slope of my line. Now, Here's how it works. Um, we want h here. We want the, the distance or the value of h to slowly approach zero. So what that does is that would slide that point closer and closer to our tangent point. So we're looking at when h goes to zero, which would indicate that there is no shift or change in the point. By allowing us to assume that, then we're looking for the limit. So for us to be able to find the slope of a graph, we're going to use the difference quotient, but the limit as h goes to zero. This is how we are finding the slope of a tangent line. So the slope m of a graph of f at a point x f of x is equal to the slope of its tangent line at x f of x and is given by the function. So the slope equals the slope of the secant line as the limit or as h goes to zero. Again, that's just putting us back to the original tangency. So limit as h goes to zero of the difference quotient right here. 
by, by us doing that, we are going to find the slope at a given point. All right, let's go ahead and look at our first example. So we need to find the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this function in order for us to do that. f of x plus h, this is what it looks like, x plus h to the second plus 5 minus f of x, which is x squared plus 5 over h. Okay, this equals, I'm going to go ahead and square the first expression, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared minus 5 all over h. I'm going to keep simplifying here. The x squareds can cancel, so I'm left with 2xh plus h squared minus 5 all over h. All right, you can see here after I squared my x plus h, so from when I, I went from x plus h squared to here, I simply just forgot that plus 5, so I still have this plus 5 in here, which the 5 minus the 5 cancel. I just want to make sure that you saw that the 5s would also cancel there. All right, so this is what I have left. I'm still trying to figure out the difference quotient or continue that because it's going to help me with my slope. Um, I can go ahead and factor out my h, which is 2x. Here I've got 2x. Take the h out. I'd be plus h divided by h. And you see here this simplifies. I can cross out my h's. So I'm left with 2x plus h. So now here's what we're doing. We're trying to find the limit as x approaches, as not x approaches, but that's usually what the limit is, but in this case it's as h approaches 0 of the 2x plus h. So I, get, I put the result of my difference quotient into my limit. I substitute the 0 in, so we're simply looking at 2x. All right, well, let's go ahead and tie it to this scenario. The point is at 3, negative 1 right here. So the x value is 3. Put that in. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 6 is the slope of the line that's tangent that runs through 3, negative 1. So I go through my whole difference quotient here. I get 2x plus h as the answer to my difference quotient. I evaluate the limit as h goes to 0, and then I substitute the x in 2 times x or 2 times 3. So my answer here is 6. All right, let's take a look at another example. We have to do the difference quotient. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Let's see what it looks like here. So it's 3x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h. There's my evaluating f of x plus h. Now I need to subtract the function. All over h. I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to distribute and FOIL and do all of that. 3 and then it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 3x squared 
plus 2x, so that's quite a bit here that we have to simplify, over h still. I'm going to distribute 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 3x squared plus 2x all divided by h. Now let's start canceling out our like parts. Uh, 3x squared gone. 2x here and two, negative 2x gone. And this here was an h. Copy that, that's an h. So here's what I have left. I have 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h, all divided by h. You can take an h out, you're left with 6x plus 3h minus 2, all over h, you can cancel out the h's. So we're looking at this. We're looking at our difference quotient to be 6x plus 3h minus 2. Now the question is, what about for the limit at that point? Okay, so I have to use 4 for my x, but I also want to find the limit as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 2. So the limit as that goes to 0 is equal to um, 6x minus 2. Now I can go ahead and substitute um, my 4 in here. And if I substitute my 4 in, I've got 6 times 4, 24 minus 2. So the answer is 22. All right, so this right here, uh, final answer, happens to be the slope of the tangent line passing through 4, negative 56 of this function. Something to keep in mind, and I believe that in your note packet here, if you're really coming this, copying this from your packet, this was a negative 4. So as you go through that whole process, you would type in, you know, you would substitute a negative 4 in here, and you'd get a result of negative 26. I went ahead and solved this problem as if this was positive 4. All right, next example. So find the slope of this at point 216. So we have to find the tangent line and then its slope by using limits. So first let's do the difference quotient. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Let's see what this looks like this time around. f of x plus h would be x plus h to the fourth minus it the function so minus x to the fourth over h so we got our work cut out here for us x plus h to the fourth well I know that x plus h squared times x plus h squared is the same as x plus h to the fourth so we can manage that Let's go ahead and evaluate or simplify it. So we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then that would be, again, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x to the fourth all over h. So I actually need to FOIL this out. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's x to the fourth plus x squared times 2xh is 2x to the third h plus x squared h squared plus 2xh times x squared is 2x to the third h plus 4x squared h squared, I'm in the middle terms now, 
plus 2xh to the third. Now I'm going to do my last term all the way through. Plus x squared h squared plus 2xh to the third plus h to the fourth. And then, of course, we still have this minus x to the fourth, the outside number there. Okay, this is all over h. And it's time to start simplifying. See if I can't cancel some of this out. Well, I can cancel my x to the fourths. I can start adding some like terms. I've got 2x to the third h, 2x to the third h. That looks like those are common. So that's 4x to the third h. I got x squared h squared and x squared h squared again somewhere right there. So that's 2x squared h squared. I have 4x squared h squared along with all of those. So that would give me a total of 6x squared h squared. All of the x squared and h squareds added together. Now I've got 2xh to the third and 2xh to the third, which should be 4x h to the third and then h to the fourth. All right, so I think we got it all and we still have this over h. So obviously if I factor an h out, I'm reducing each one of these terms by an h. I would have left 4x to the third plus 6x squared h plus 4x h to the second plus an h to the third. Now what we're looking at is then the limit as h approaches 0 of this. And so you can substitute 0 in for all of these h's and this is all these are all zeros. So my my result of the difference quotient here and the limit of it is 4x to the third. Now you're going to substitute 2 in. So 4 times 2 to the third. Answer is 32. 32 is the slope there. All right, so this is pretty much how we find the slope of the tangent line. Uh, we need to use the difference quotient. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video here, and then uh, we'll pick up the, the last couple examples on the next video.